Ah, yes. Beautiful Guayania Bay. You guys have probably seen this before, but it sure was such a nice day that I figured I had to shoot it from high up just to show you guys. And uh, give you a little glimpse of this is the port side of it here. Power plant up there in the distance. A couple fuel docks there, more fuel docks, and LNG dock. And that's out looking out to the Caribbean. But today, we are doing something called STS. Ship-to-ship -ship transfer, or even lightering, some people call it. And uh, this is uh, ATB. Stick around to the end, and I'll even uh, walk you through, uh, well, give you a little aerial tour of the ATB. Hope you like it. Hello and welcome. I'm Tim, and this is Tim B at Sea. And hey, guess what? We're down in the Caribbean. That's right, no longer in New York. Well, just a little change of contract here and a little change of scenery. So if you want to see something different, maybe a side of the Caribbean you've never seen before, come on over every Tuesday and uh, see us, see what we do down here. It's a different type of the towing industry. It's actually towing on the wire. A lot of deep water towing, uh, crazy ports, all kinds of fun stuff. Come along and strap in and hope you enjoy the ride. Alright, so we're doing a uh, lightering job. We're in Guayania and this ATB just came in from uh, Texas with a load of fuel. And he's anchoring up. I, I thought he was going to anchor a in a different spot so I'm on the wrong side of him here so I need to get on the other side of him and spin around and we'll be going heads and tails on this guy and uh, starting our procedure I don't think you guys can see it because it's on my other side here, but I think the pilot boat's going to be right in the way. <laughs> it's alright, he'll get out of the way. So it's always easier pushing a barge on the against the side that you're uh, made up to. So in other words, this thing would probably turn a lot tighter to the port than it does the starboard. So right now I'm giving it a twist. Try to get that thing spinning around here. So don't run out of real estate. So everything's going to shake, rattle, and hum. And that's totally fine. That's uh these boats are built for. When we were in New York, there was a lot of uh, maneuvering we'd do in the bunker trade, and everybody would comment about all the vibration and the rattling and the shaking and the humming and all that sort of stuff. And uh, I have to keep telling people about how cavitation works. Yeah, night and 90, uh, if you stay right there, that's going to be about perfect. I'm going to keep rotating right around you, and uh, we'll get around there, and you'll push me right over. 
Collier. Taylor. Just about lined up, but we're going to do 180 degrees more. So instead of backing, I need to come ahead a little bit. I'm trying to make some forward progress. You guys should be able to start seeing the ATB coming into frame pretty soon here. He's anchored up. And I'm going to be rolling in right alongside him. And Usually we get plenty of time to do all this, but this particular time, the pilot is in a hurry, and that's because he has a job at Ponce, and he needs the assist tug. And uh, quite frankly, this is a, a job that, uh, it's very nice to have the assist tug, and we like that, and it's kind of written into the contract, so we don't really want to uh, disturb what they do locally here, but uh, this is a relatively, this should <laughs> I hope I don't jinx myself. But this should be a relatively smooth job. There should, there should be no tricks about this. This should be nice and easy. So now I'm just trying to rotate all the way around. And if you see uh, things moving, we have a very loose makeup here. And that's just because we were at anchor. We, flopped, we towed back from Arecibo and we just flopped on the barge last night. And, uh, knowing that the weather was going to be good and that it was a light barge and that we were just going to go do this uh, job here at Anchor, we figured we didn't have to make up a super tight, really good makeup. So this makeup is going to work out just fine. Nadia, if you want to come on over and start making your way over, come on. And uh, you'll see that Yokohama up ahead of me. And uh, I think I want to put you back uh, two cleats. So, like, uh, two cleats in front of me or two cleats back from the Yokohama? Either one there. It's, it's the same thing. Two cleats, I owe you. Keith, you on this one? How about you, Julian? I got you, Kevin. I'm headed out. All right. Thank you. Now, one of the reasons why I have the assist boat back as far as I do is that uh, I got a feeling that when we get over there, we're going to have to push over to them for quite a bit for this maneuver. And so, uh, by doing this, if I had him further towards the working bow or the actual stern of the barge, I think what would happen then is that uh, he would push his end and I'd have to twist against him a lot more. And so since he's going to be at a 90, I'll have him further back here. And in doing that, that's going to, uh, that should ensure that he uh, pushes more of the barge and not just, just his end. All right. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that, that's great. Just, uh, just ride along for now. Oh, yeah. Morning 
Keith, are you up there in the corner of the barge? I'm heading out now. I just got my lights in. Alright. Nadia, you can uh, give me clutch on one. Clutch ahead. Clutch ahead on one. Hey, Tim. Go ahead. We're finished anchoring. You can come alongside anytime. All right, here we come. Give me a second. I need to pick up the final line. Yeah, not a problem. I, I think they just got it. Very good. Just stand by over there. I can't see over there, so that's that's good. All right, Nadia, give me two. Clutch ahead on two. Julian, I'm thinking you're going to want me to back up like 100 feet, right? Uh, yeah, let me, let me see where, that, where their spot actually is. Be sure. Alright. So now we're just, uh, I'm kind of twisting against him and he's pushing the rest of us over there. I'm trying to back up to get the manifolds lined up. Everything seems to be working out pretty well. We're sliding over at a good clip, going about one knot sideways. So we're going to get a little bit closer. I'm going to have them go all stop just so that we can, uh, we won't uh, bump into them too hard. <laughs> Very good. Roger. We seems like coming a little hot to meet them, but I'll let you be sure of that. We're about uh sixty and closing. Yep. Alright Nadia, you can go all stop and just let her drift. All stop. <laughs> working bows out running the stern, we're fifty wide on the working bow, sixty on the stern. All right. Nadia, just stretch your line of stern for me just for a second. Stretch your stuff. Yeah, perfect. That's great. You can go all stop. We're going to turn up back. We're gonna, um, once we get up against, we're going to want to come ahead about uh, 16 feet, 18. Okay. Now you all stop. Beautiful. All right. That got us flat. Looking good. We're... 40 wide up and down. Alright, I'm going to start creeping over and uh, forward a little bit to try to get us a better lineup. Thirty up and down. Julian, we looking better? Twenty up and down, close and easy. So we're good at 
Once he gets that line out, maybe you can run up and grab uh, something in the working stern in the actual bow of the barge there. That's going to be the one we want after the one Julian gets. Touching up in five, four, three. All right, barge is touched up, up and down. Very good. Clutch ahead on one on the Nydia. How do you pronounce that? Nydia. No idea. All right, good deal. I'm close to it. Sam, you said next ba uh, next line was working bow or working stern. The working stern. Roger. We bounced off, but we're touching up again. We're flat. Very good. Just made that line off to uh, get this other line on the board and start. Yeah, awesome. Alex, are you still on this one? Yeah, go ahead. Hey, did you get off the did you get off the tug already? Yeah, I just got off the tug. What are you doing? No, I'm just saying that uh, I can release the <laughs> Nydia right now if you want and uh, send him on his way. Then I just keep it as long as you need. We got plenty of time. Okay, very good. I'll stop on the night, yeah? Bring it over right now. Her up. Good job, guys. And that's about it. I don't know uh, how exciting that was, but uh, it's kind of weird. It was uh, I, I didn't expect the pilot. I thought I, I got out of my uh, where I was anchored so that he could anchor in my spot, and then I moved over to where we are now, and he came over to this spot. So <laughs> I, I 
didn't realize that he was anchored right here. I should have just stayed right in my spot, and I would have been right alongside him. <laughs> but that's fine. Anyway, thank, I hope you liked that video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you guys haven't seen it, we got a couple things going on. First of all, uh, we got a whole new merch thing. Uh, we, the old merch company uh, had some issues and pr quality issues and all that sort of stuff. So the new merch company is supposed to be good. Okay, Gab, we are. Uh Stern is off again. Stern. All right, moving the working stern over. So uh, be sure to check out the merch shelf, and uh, they run different uh, promotions. I don't have any control over that. The merch, the new merch company, has different promotions. That apparently, they put banners on there. Sometimes they give you free shipping and 10, 15, 20 percent off different times. But uh, anyway, go ahead and check that out. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting, and a big shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for the patrons. You guys pay all the bills for everybody. Very good. So everyone else can watch. And uh, please. Idea, clutch your head on one. Clutch your head on one. So yeah, the uh, my other channel there, SV Fakita. Um, I've been putting a lot more effort into that, and uh, I think think it's I think it's starting to come alive. It's feeling a lot better. For a long time, I didn't really know what I was doing over there, and uh, um, I'm feeling feeling a lot better. Shoot. Okay, bow's closed up. Uh, stern's about four wide, and closing up nice and easy. All right, Tyra. And uh, anyway, it it's doing great, great. Uh, the the, the SV Pakicha channel is, I think I'm finally finding the direction that I want to go in it, or at least it's becoming more and more natural, and i uh, been sailing up in New England right now, uh, the boat's up in, up in the Gulf of Maine, and uh, have a whole bunch of nice, beautiful drone footage that I've been putting out there, and I uh, hope you guys will like it. It's uh, not your everyday sailing channel, not everybody who likes tugboats likes uh, <laughs> sailboats, but uh, it might be a different sailing channel in that you might like it because it's somebody who I am not a sailor. I'm a lifelong merchant mariner who is learning how to sail. And uh, so hopefully some of the uh, things that I've learned over the years of being a professional mariner will translate over, but I still have a lot to learn sailing and uh, come along with me as I do it. I've got a great boat and with a tons, if you like systems, I've got, I think I got more systems on my sailboat than we do on the tugboat. But anyway, I'll put a link in the description for that and hopefully we'll see you over there. You guys take care and as always, I'll see you on the one. Kudos to you guys if you stuck around for the whole part of the video. But <laughs> anyway, um, so this is a lightering job. This ATB actually came from Texas full of fuel and it doesn't it looks like it's a little bit bigger than ours but they say that with every foot you have to uh, add almost four you know have to add, multiply your capacity by almost four times on a boat and in this case this one actually holds about uh, 160,000 barrels of f product where we only hold 50,000 in ours so more than three times the capacity of ours, and even though it's just a, it just it just looks a little bit bigger. But anyway, there's a couple reasons why we lighter. Uh, this particular one was probably because if these guys discharge it to the port, then the port would have to discharge it back to us. So why not discharge it directly to us first before they go into the port? I would imagine that's the thinking that goes into it. But sometimes it's because they don't have the uh, draft to get to where they need to go. But anyway. Um, if you remember, we have the rule on the channel. We used to talk about it in New York all the time that we never mention in the comments tugs, companies, or customers. So you guys can figure all that out. But this is a beautiful boat. It's an ATB, an articulated tug and barge. It was built in 2002 and about 9,000 horsepower. And uh, this thing's really nice. Uh, it, when you look at it, it's a... Uh, missing some things compared to our boat for example you won't see any push gear and you don't see a winch and that's because they have these great big pins up front that allow it to articulate so in other words if the if the barge moves from side to side the tug moves with it but if the barge pitches up and down the tug will rotate there right in the front you know right right where it's in the notch there further back they have these massive three or four maybe even five foot uh, across pins that uh, allow it to rotate 
And uh, because of that, they can make really good speed. Um, I think this one, I was reading the paperwork in it, they actually say that it, it does 12, it can do 12 knots. And uh, they also have about, I think they said 5,000 barrels of, of ballast. So when you, get a, when you get a barge this big, when you pump all the product off, it becomes very light and unstable. So they pump water ballast into it, and in this case about 5,000 barrels of it, to give it some weight so that it handles better. And uh, that's kind of cool. But anyway, um, this is something that you see often. We meet up with these guys often, and they're good to work with. They're, they're another very respected company in the industry, and always fun to see other mariners. And, uh, you know, we don't really get to hang out that much, but you get to say hi to them, and who knows, maybe some of them watch them. <laughs> watch this stupid video. <laughs> but uh, if any of you guys are out there, make sure you drop me a line. All right. You guys take care. Thank you so much, and as always, i see you on the one.